when the narcissist is forced to accept their fate. When the narcissist is forced to accept what was inevitably going to happen. While you are with the narcissist, they want to display power. They want to make you think that they have the ability to influence your behavior and direct the course of events. Because that is how they maintain their influence and authority over you. That is how they keep you under their control. When in actuality, they're just bluffing. They're just trying to deceive you of their abilities and intentions. They're putting on an act. Their bark is worse than their bite. They can seem much more unpleasant and, a horse and hostile than they actually are. They may say things that are, fright that are frightening, but their actions are not normally as severe. Because they understand that there are forces outside of their control. Which is why they depend so heavily on coercion. Which is why they always have to persuade you to do something. By using force or threats. Because they don't really have any power. They just try to manipulate you into giving your power to them. Everything they do is an attempt to escape their fate. It's an attempt to avoid acknowledging the unpleasant and threatening reality. Which is why every narcissist will have some form of addiction. They will often engage in escapism. They will seek distraction and relief from the unpleasant reality. Often by seeking entertainment to engage in fantasy. They will engage in purely imaginative activity or entertainment as an escape from their reality or routine. Because reality is too much for them to deal with. They cannot survive in anything less than a picture perfect world where everything is catered to them. And since that is an impossibility, their only hope is to pretend. They deny any wrongdoing. They present this fake image to the world. And they just act as though everything is fine and dandy. They act as though everything is going well. When the reality is very different from what they have led you to believe. When the narcissist leaves you, they don't just ride off into the sunset. The only reason why they left you is because they were trying to escape their fate. They were trying to dodge their responsibility for their actions after everything they did to you, after the situation that they had created, once they had run it into the ground. They didn't want anything to do with it anymore. So they tried to move on to the next situation in an attempt to escape their fate. in an attempt to avoid the result of their actions and then they just left you to pick up the pieces they just left you to restore your life after the disaster that they had created
when the narcissist leaves you. They want to present this image as though they're doing great. They want you to think they're so much happier without you. They don't want to accept that they were the cause of anything that went wrong with you. They want people to think that it was all your fault. Narcissists are constantly in survival mode. They're just trying to survive emotionally. They don't have the capacity to even experience real happiness or fulfillment. They're just trying to fulfill their basic needs. They're just trying to survive. They're just trying to get by with whatever they can find. So although it may look like they have moved on and they're doing so much better with someone else. In most cases, it was just a decision they made out of desperation. Maybe they didn't have any other options, but at the time it seemed like a good opportunity. Because anything is better than nothing for a narcissist after they have left you. They don't want to be alone. They don't want it to look like there's something wrong with them. They don't want anyone to think that they have difficulty managing relationships. So they will just get involved with whoever they think is willing to accommodate them. It doesn't mean that they're happy with someone else. It doesn't mean that they're doing good. They've just found something that is distracting them for now. It's just another form of escapism. They use people as a means to escape from their unpleasant reality. But that does not mean that they're doing good. That does not mean that they're happy. Just because an addict has managed to find more drugs, it doesn't mean they're experiencing joy, pleasure or good fortune. It's just a distraction from how they really feel. It's a coping mechanism. And it's the same thing with a narcissist. All they're really trying to do is cope with their lives. They're just trying to cope with how they really feel about themselves. And that is what they use to make you think they're happy without you. That is what they use to make you think they're doing good. When really, it's just a distraction from the miserable lives. It's just a form of escapism. The truth is, the narcissist is never really going to accept their fate. There might be small windows of reflection, but it's not something that's going to last for long periods of time. They cannot deal with their pain and shame. It's too painful for them to deal with. They would rather just mask it with their addictions. They would rather try to distract themselves. And that is why even though you may look at their life and see no reason for them to be happy about anything, They always find something to brag and boast about. They always find a way to make it seem like it's more than what it actually is. Because they just don't want to live in reality. They can't exist in reality without destroying someone or destroying themselves. They created an alternate reality to protect themselves. They created a fake world. Because reality was just too painful for them to deal with. 
And in this reality, everything is reversed. Everything is backwards. And you're just supposed to accept their interpretations. You're just, to, you're just supposed to accept their version of events. You're supposed to accept their way of seeing things. But when you display your own individuality, you can no longer exist in their world. It's like you become Neo from the Matrix. It's like you've just taken the red pill. And now all they can do from that point on is try to make you think that you made the wrong decision. By making you think that their reality is better. Because they want you to feel regret. They want you to feel like you messed up. When the reality is that there's just so much more to life than living in someone's distorted inter interpretation of what the world is supposed to be. You're supposed to decide that for yourself. And you should be able to coexist with people who have different opinions and beliefs. It doesn't mean that you have to pull them into your world. But that is something that narcissists cannot do. If they left their alternate reality, they would cease to exist. Because their false self isn't even real. It's just something they concocted a long time ago because they couldn't deal with reality. There are going to be small windows where the narcissist does realize their fate. When they see that you've moved on with someone else, when they see that you're happy, when they see that you've become successful, when they see that you're no longer thinking about them. That will make the narcissist feel insignificant. It will make them feel like they've missed out on something, even if it's only for a second. But they have to fight against that they cannot entertain those ideas for long periods of time. Their narcissism is a coping and defense mechanism against how they really feel about themselves. So they have to constantly deny their wrongdoing. They have to act like they're perfect and they're doing so much better, that, so much better without you. even though it isn't real. They would rather live in their fan fan fantasy world than to experience life as it actually is. Than to accept themselves as they actually are. Rather than how they wish things could be when that is actually the very thing that would set them free. When you hold yourself accountable for your faults and mistakes, when you accept your flaws and imperfections, you are free. But this is something the narcissist is never going to do. They're never going to accept their wrongdoing. They're never going to hold themselves accountable for their actions. 
and that is why they will be imprisoned forever in a world of their own making. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narc survivor, Dakota UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.